Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass, and welcome to the first official test drive of the My Next Car series. Tony is here. Tony has very amazingly arranged a test drive with Audi Maidstone in this amazingly orange R8 V10 Plus. in here isn't it we've got all the all the equipment this car is so orange <laughs> um, right yes R8 V10 plus if you saw last week's episode the first episode of this series we both agreed that the V10 plus was gonna have to be the first car that we test not only have I been keeping a close eye on them since they got launched because I think they look awesome I've Tony used to own yeah, one yeah. so you can do some uh, some good advice and as we saw last week, you can pick up these cars for ridiculously good money these days. You can, yeah. This particular car, you can't. <laughs> this is 140 grand, something yeah. like that. So this is a fully kitted out, fully loaded, very brand new car. But in all of these test drives that we're going to be doing, we're not necessarily test driving that exact car to buy. We're testing... The model. The model. There we go. So for today, lucky yeah, lucky you're here. Today we are testing the R8 V10 Plus. We're not necessarily considering buying this exact one. But anyway, enough boring talk. Let's go Let's for go. a drive in the R8. Woo! actually been in a few different R8 V10 Pluses but always from the passenger seat so this is my very first time actually sitting in the driver's seat so I am still learning so much but to get the boring stuff out of the way we are in a 5.2 litre V10 with 610 horsepower 0 to 60 is a strange one because Audi claim it's above three seconds but this car has regularly been tested to do it below three seconds so all I can say about that is it's very bloody quick. And yes, Tony used to own one of these cars, not so long ago. How long ago did you have one? Uh, uh, about six months ago. Six yeah, months yeah. ago. So you are here to, to part some wisdom and advice as well on your ownership experience. All I say, at the minute we're cruising around in comfort. I'm in comfort mode. I can put sports exhaust on. I think that's, that's how that's, I used to it. That's probably essential. Um, but it's so nice being in it. It's so familiar to the TTRS that we drove a few weeks ago. We've got this virtual cockpit. Uh, very minimalistic designs in terms of the sort of layout, buttons, these kind of cool aircon buttons that all look super futuristic. But apart from that, there's not much going on except the bright orange paintwork Larry. of this particular car. Yeah. One thing which I love, which I think if I was to get a V10 Plus, I'd want is these seats with the comfort seats. Oh, yeah. but no, but the stitching. Yeah, well, mine, that, mine oh. had the big Recaros. And oh, okay. They were a bit uncomfortable. A bit too intense. Yeah, like you couldn't adjust the back. Uh, you could only adjust the front. These in this car we got fully electronic. Yeah, I just love seats. the. Yeah. Is it hexagonal stitching? Diamond stitch. Diamond stitch. Diamond stitch. That is very very cool. Um, but as we know, this is a, this is quite a fully loaded car, so I'm not going to get too carried away with bits inside. But as I said, I think the the diamond stitching would be almost a must yeah. for me. Apart from that, uh, everything else is sort of familiar because it's kind of Audi. There's nothing too new apart from the layout. Quite small gear paddles. Don't like that. Do Don't like that. I like no, big. Like, like, yeah. But the reason we're in this car is because, as we saw last week, you can now pick up these V10 Pluses for like 115, 120 grand, which is mental, and that is approaching towards the top end of my budget. Yeah, we've got value for money. Though. But value for money because it's just so usable. Like I know it's like a really cliched thing to say that the R8 is an everyday supercar, the most usable but supercar. It is. But it is. But it like, is. That's it's what it is. That's the reason people say it because right now we're on the motorway. It is a grim, rainy, crap UK day and we are just cruising along yeah. in total comfort. And yeah. I doubt there would ever be like a a blip or an issue, I mean, touch touch wood. Um, it's not gonna go wrong. Yeah, it feels yeah. super reliable. Yeah. Um, and apart from the absolutely horrendous front boot, which is the size of a small human's like bathroom. A shoe box. Yeah, shoe box, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really 
it's got everything else that you could possibly need in there. We've got the Bang & Olufsen sound system in here, again, something I'd probably, I'd probably want a must. on a car, yeah, yeah a I must. think would be good. Yeah. But apart from that, and I assume most kit you get standard, we've got cruise control in here. Yeah. <gasps> but let's face it, when we're talking about the R8, and really any supercar, we're really talking about performance, because as nice as this is, the ability to cruise and use on a daily basis, all we really care about is how fast it goes. Yeah, <laughs> so, let's come out of comfort mode, we're going to use this drive select button on the steering wheel. Let's pedal. Go into dynamic immediately. So, woo! The exhaust <laughs> an angry dog. Oh my god, the exhaust. Like, the V10 sound is definitely like one of the most iconic sounds from a car. And since the Huracan and the R8 have this same crackly exhaust, a big, loud, shouty soundtrack. Oh, it's... yeah. Don't kill me, <laughs> First little acceleration. Because, yeah, as I say, even though Audi... We reckon it's 3.1 in Audi's That's what Audi said, claimed yeah. figures yeah, for yeah. the V10 Plus. But, as I say, there were so many videos on YouTube of this car being road tested and doing 0-60 in like 2.5, 2.6. Uh, you know, on par with Huracan. So, yeah, I, uh, but when I owned mine, I thought it was definitely an under three second car. Yeah. This was awesome. Well, hopefully, we're about to find out if that's true. Okay. I'm strapped. <laughs> <laughs> no racing answers, I'm afraid. I'm going to go into manual as well. I've texted my wife Dis and said I might not come home. Up. Yeah, if you don't hear from me for a few hours. <laughs> I'm in a tree. The grip as well, and it's raining. It's wet. <laughs> I mean, this thing is so quick, and as you say, it is such a miserable, greasy day. But it doesn't slip or slide anywhere. In a re in a rear wheel drive, uh, anything twelve seat, so, uh, yeah. we would have been in that barrier. Four five eight. Four five eight in a barrier. Car in a tree. In that head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. this. Just wants to. Oh, that's the road I was going to go down. It's closed. Oh, well, let's go down this one. Let's go down this one. This one. Get out, come on. <laughs> 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 what it picked God. up there. Something happened, didn't it? It's just like. It's going to take off. It's hyper speed. And that. Soundtrack! And I forgot how fast it is. Okay, second gear, 30 miles an hour. Ready? <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! It sounds like it. And you know what's really cool in dynamic mode? I'm getting like shifter lights almost. Re uh, yellow and green. Yeah. I can't remember. On the rev range. Yeah. And the quick game in a corner, man. And it's a Oh my god! And the brakes, is... the brakes are so on it from here oh. as well. Like you're getting a lot more feel than me. Oh, I'm just it's getting just around. Such... Yeah. <laughs> that was it from the passenger seat too. Uh, 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 I'm not oh. sure. I just want to keep downshifting. Oh, I love that noise. before we get too carried away with how ridiculous the performance is. I think, for me, my biggest concern is that I personally would get bored with this car after like three to six months. Yeah, I agree, because that's partly why I sold mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because whilst the performance is mind-blowing, and I have to say, particularly in this colour, I do think it looks amazing. There's, there's something too familiar about it. There's something that's not exotic enough for me, personally. It's an Audi. That's what's familiar. Yeah, but I like it's Audis. Yeah, yeah, so and that's what, yeah, yeah, and I've had a few. Yeah, so. yeah. It's a mass-produced company. They've mass-produced cars. And I guess that is why you get so much bang for your buck. Yeah, why it's so affordable in terms yeah, yeah. of the performance and the marketplace. And that goes for it. But like, especially for me, I bought plenty of Bath 695. And the Force is my only car for a long period of time. The Jag was actually quite sensible. But I don't tend to make that sensible car decisions and this feels a little bit safe and sensible to yeah. me. 
yeah, yeah. As much fun as it is, I, that's, I just, I'm nervous that in six months I'll be like, what's next? Yeah, what are we doing, yeah. Whilst well, no, I, I think if, you know, some of the other cars that we've been discussing, whether that is, you know, F430s, 12Cs, V12 Vantages, whatever, I think I would be like, oh my God! They're all a little bit more exclusive. Yeah, it's a bit more exciting, something yeah. I've never had. Yeah, uh, these, these would compete with like a 911 Turbo. And they're both, although you'd have this over the 911 Turbo. I think so. Yeah, 100% yeah. you would. They are a bit bland mm. in so Yeah, I mean, the soundtrack, don't yeah, get me wrong, don't yeah, get yeah. us wrong, please, because. It's this, a proper car. It's a supercar, it's yeah, a man. full on proper supercar that sounds amazing. Oh, here he is, just pulling it out on a roundabout, and I'm in a bright orange R8. How could you not see me? Oh. Gonna get bored of that noise. Never gonna get bored of that noise or this the speed of it. But I don't know. I, and also the other thing we've picked up on, on this test drive is the weird clunking of ride. And the dynamic suspension. So basically, as you're driving along, even in comfort mode, if you hit oh please refuel. Petrol. It's bound to happen at some point. Yeah, it's not. Um, if you hit a bump or you know whatever a hole in the road, it's this weird knocking, and there doesn't have to be a particularly big bump, and it's not that uncomfortable, but it's like it's like a ball joint's gone or something. Yeah, That's it's a weird. It but like. you said that that is apparently just yeah, it's designed like for it's characteristics of the car. That's, that's what Audis tell you. It's characteristics yeah, it's of the car. I'm trying to see if I can generate one now, but there's no really bumps on there's this no road. Bumps on this <laughs> road. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's quite a weird, slightly annoying thing, which I think I would get frustrated by, because I'm already a little bit frustrated by it, just on this test drive. Yeah. Like, don't get us wrong, like, as I said, like, I would be blown away by owning an R8 V10 Plus, like my first supercar, and at this point in my life. Uh, yeah, because it's fantastic value for money. Like, you know, what it competes with is 200,000 plus cars. Sure. But you see why. But for a... Carried away by the noise. For a well spec low mileage one, we're looking at the top end of my budget, right? We're looking yeah. at maybe like 125, yeah, 130. Yeah. I know we saw that one at 115 at Romans, but it wasn't right, it didn't have the right wheels, no. didn't have anything really inside it, no. wrong, wrong, wrong seats, like lots of that I didn't really yeah. want. Yeah. Um, so, do I, if I'm really stretching, is an R8 what I really want to stretch for? Is it? Uh, I mate, don't a, think so. Mate, it's an awesome car though. It's 100% a contender. And a, and a new car. It's new. It is new. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is brand new and it looks brand new. Yeah, it, don't get me wrong. This is definitely top three on my list. It's got to be. If not top two on my list. Yeah. But it has flaws that could mean something else superseded. And what I quite like is that we're getting this out of the way. Yeah. It's like the benchmark. Yeah. For our test drive series, this is the benchmark. So now we know everything else we get into is kind of going to live up to this level or beat it. Yeah. We've now come inside Mainstone Audi and we're whispering because we're <laughs> sat in the corner of the showroom and I don't want to ruin everyone else's day. But we couldn't have picked a worse day <laughs> to test drive a supercar. Pouring around. It was just like the most miserable day, but that R8 was incredible despite the weather. We're gonna wrap up, I think, this first test drive. Um, such a shame that the weather was so bad, it does make harding filming incredibly difficult. But anyway, uh, next test drive, I think we'll be going live on Wednesday and then another one on Sunday. So make sure you are subscribed for all the test drives still to come. The decision-making process is still definitely wide open. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have. And as I say, make sure you subscribe for plenty more videos to come.